What's happening out there guys? It's Roll Easy here and I'm back yet again with another money glitch video for you guys. It's the second method, you know, the second type of dupe glitch that you can do with this facility merge glitch that I posted earlier. Uh, this glitch is a little bit different. You're pretty much doing most of the work. Your friend is just sending you an invite and like walking in and out of the facility. Your friend's not doing much. It's pretty much all you doing the work. So a little bit different from the other glitch, but they're both pretty simple, pretty easy. You can run into some complications with this one, but it doesn't make the glitch any harder. Uh, you just kind of you just kind of have to work around certain things. So uh, apart from that, uh, as always, founders will be linked down in the description. And what you're gonna need for this glitch is you need to be in an invite only session, you need one friend, you both need the same facility, you don't need custom plates for this glitch whatsoever, so no custom plates again, that's a good thing. Uh, I recommend the duper have the ability to be to sign in as an MC president and go ahead and throw a bunch of Fagios or Sanchez's inside of your facility and have one, you know, car you want to dupe in there, like the Benny's, you know, retro or any Benny's vehicle will be good. The retro sells for the most, okay? So one retro and just the rest Sanchez's. Now your friend that's helping you, you want him to have an empty facility. I recommend completely empty if you want to go ahead and like dupe, you know, the most cars possible. Now, what you also need as the duper is an MOC with the personal vehicle storage and any vehicle inside, any car, doesn't really matter. Now, what you're seeing on the screen here, we're actually in my friend's facility. Remember I said you want your friend's facility to be empty? My friend emptied out his whole facility, but I did leave one thing there, all right? My friend left that little blazer over there in slot seven all the way at the end, and that's just to prove to you guys that the, that the facilities have merged. It's an easy indication to see the facilities actually merging. But like I said, if your friend really wants to hook you up so you can do this and get the most amount of vehicles as possible, you want to go ahead and just have your friend empty out his whole facility, all seven slots, okay? So now we're going to go ahead and move on to my, you know, to my facility, and I'm going to show you how I set up mine. Now, I set up mine a little bit differently, but, you know, the concept is basically the same. What I recommend in the Duper's facility, don't mind all that, all right, <laughs> the, the Duper's facility like I said, have one retro in there or whatever car you're duplicating. Make sure it's a Benny's vehicle. It doesn't matter if it has custom plates or not. So just have that in slot one, say. And the rest of the vehicles, you just want to be like Sanchez's or Fagio's. Now, I recommend Sanchez's or Fagio's because you can call them out through your MC menu, okay? To make it a lot easier and a lot quicker so you don't have to keep going in and out of the facility. But you can do that as well. So you can use RH8s if you really want to. But just have one retro in there and the rest of vehicles to dupe over, okay? So as the duper, that's all you need. And like I said, you're gonna need your MOC with the personal vehicle storage and any car inside of it, all right? Any vehicle inside will do. You're not gonna lose it, it's just gonna transfer. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started here with the glitch. Now, once we have everything set up, I'm gonna go ahead and go grab my MOC, all right? So I'm gonna go grab my MOC right now. And remember I said sign in as an, as an MC president, uh, you know, and that'll really help out the glitch. This is why, because I could have just dr driven out like, you know, Sanchez from my facility right now and then gone to get the MOC. Would have kind of, it would have been kind of a pain though, because the Sanchez is already out and then I have to drive over there and back and yada, yada, yada. So this is the best way to do it. Now that the MOC is out, I can just call up through my MC menu, one of the Sanchez's that's in there. I only have three in any, in all of my garages. So I know this one is coming from the facility. Okay. It needs to come from the facility. Now, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to do the merge glitch. So my friend, uh, the helper, he's in his facility just waiting, okay? I'm going to go behind my MOC with this vehicle right here. I have the right D-pad option. He's going to go ahead and send me an invite to his facility, okay? Remember, I said you wanted something in there so that you can get that black alert. Now, I'm going to hover over the facility invite, and I'm going to select to accept it, spam right D-pad, and then spam A through that alert, okay? If done correctly, you're going to get this weird glitchy cutscene, and then boom, we have merged the facility successfully. Remember you saw my garage and how it looked like before? Check it out. All my cars are here, except for that one Sanchez. I'll explain that in a second. But all my cars are right here, and look at that, uh, look at that orange blazer at the very end. You see that? That's my friends from his facility. So that's how we know that the, faci the facilities have successfully merged, okay? Because that's his blazer right there, and the rest are my vehicles. All right, so now I'm going to make my way over here. This is the retro I'm going to be using to dupe. And look at this. You see there's no Sanchez here anymore? That's the Sanchez I got glitched out with outside. We're actually going to overwrite that Sanchez that's outside right there. All right, the same one we got glitched out with, we're going to overwrite it. So now we're just going to do the teleport glitch. 
or the teleport trick, I should say. You can go over here and then you can grab another car to kind of block off. Uh, you know the other door, but if you want to do it really easy and really simple I always recommend doing it this way. I've never failed at this. Okay, some people say they fail at this all the time I've never failed at this once park it exactly like you see me parking it right here If you can spam Y or try and go to teleport in and out then you're good to go go ahead and go to the yellow circle and get ready but before that I wanted to show you the plate on here to show you that it indeed does change and you get a fresh plate every time just remember JTJ or 88 790 whatever part of that plate you want to remember okay so now go to the yellow circle if you want to go a little bit closer to the car you can go ahead and do that but all you got to do is press A and Y or X and triangle at the same time all right that's it you'll see a flash of you spawning inside of that car and then you'll see a flash uh, and then you'll go back to actually exiting and if done correctly you're gonna spawn outside with the car go ahead and look at the plate and you're gonna see that the plate is actually different okay I'll drive over here just to prove it to you guys and just to show you that the plate is different there you go RSQ 155 definitely different from the plate I had before this is a brand new clean duplicate my MOC is still there because you know the facilities were all glitched out so it didn't actually go away I'm gonna go ahead and put it in there now whatever was in there now moved over to the facility like I said you didn't lose whatever was in your uh, MOC and there you go we've saved a dupe just like that I recommend driving it in and out twice that's just kind of what I like to do just to be safe I've been screwed over by this in the past so it's just something I do but go ahead and exit and now you can go ahead and, and attempt to do the glitch one more time or you know or again so I'm gonna go ahead and call up a Sanchez and my MOC is still outside so I'm gonna call up a Sanchez remember I know this Sanchez is coming from my facility because I only have three of them in all my garages so Right now, I'm going to go ahead and make sure I get the right D-pad option. I have that black alert. I'll just deny that. And then now let your friend know that's in his facility to go ahead and send you an invite. Okay? Invitation. Accept it. Spam right D-pad. And then spam A or X through that full alert. Okay? You should get the glitchy cutscene. Sometimes you'll be invisible for a little bit. And then check it out. Any second now, we'll be good to go. Boom. There we go. So, I'm in the merged facility. Just like that. And... There we go. So I can go ahead and do the glitch again. And all I got to do, and you see that RH8? You're probably wondering where that came from. That RH8 was in my MOC. All right. So now that RH8 is over here and the orange blazer is over there. I know that this is a merged facility now. It's both of our facilities merged together. So now I'm going to grab the same car and go ahead and duplicate it for you. That's why I said all you need is one retro in there and just put a bunch of Sanchez's or Fagios in there so you can call them up nice and easy. All right. So now we're going to do the same, the same you know, thing that we did before. Uh, you can go ahead and go over here and then get another car to wedge the other side if you really want to, you know, if you're not good at this method. But like I said, park it exactly like you see me parking it right here and you should have no trouble. OK, I even went a little bit farther back this time. It's not even edged forward and I still was able to get it. So check it out. And I'm going to show you the plate again right now before I do this. But you can edge forward from that yellow circle towards the car more if you're really worried. But check it out. So. Here we go. The plate is the same as before, JTJ790. All right, same as before. That's the same exact car. We're just going to duplicate it over again. And uh, yeah, so like I said, you can edge a little bit away from the yellow circle and A and Y at the same time. PlayStation, you're, you're pressing X and triangle at the same time. You should see a flash of yourself in the car, and then you'll be exiting the facility. Okay? You'll spawn outside with the vehicle. And there you go, you see a brand new plate that's completely different than the one we had before. Brand new, fresh, uh, you know, clean duplicate. Okay? Now, if you're spawning outside on foot, you're not doing that right. You need to press them at the same time, okay? It's not one a little bit before the other one. It's literally just both at the same time. And go ahead and save the vehicle, like I said, in and out twice, and you should be fine. And if you do fail that part, you do have to do, you do have to start from the beginning, you know, from the MOC part. You definitely have to start from the beginning because the facility is not glitched out anymore once you leave because you were glitching it out. So I'm going to show you something that can actually happen to you while trying to do the glitch. OK, you can sometimes actually spawn in your own facility or like a glitch facility that has nothing in it, no cars or anything like that. Or you can end up on a loading screen like this. It's just infinite. If you do end up on a loading screen, just have your friend go ahead and start up a job like Titan, a Titan of a job, send you an invite or you go ahead and join them through the, uh, you know, through the dashboard. And then once you're on the alert, you tell your friend to go ahead and back out of the job. So I'm on the alert. Tell your friend to back out. 
Once he's back down on the ground, you can go ahead and accept the alerts and you'll get an unable to connect. That'll get you off the black screen, okay? And then that'll bring you back to the facility or something like that. So check it out. I was outside and look, it looks like the facility's merged right there. You would think, oh, look at that. It still worked, but it didn't. Remember, I said, remember the orange blazer. There's no orange blazer in slot seven over there. That's how I know this is my facility. So since I'm just in my facility, my MOC despawns and stuff. So I, we really don't know what causes this black screen to happen, you know, all the time or these, this weirdness when you're trying to hit that glitch. At least it's easy to do, but those complications can happen. What I recommend is after each dupe, you and your friend walk out of the, you know, facility, go ahead and start up a job. Both you guys like go into the setting screen of Titan of a job and then back out. That can help you guys get unglitched. Uh, maybe it's the MOC being out for every single dupe. Maybe you actually have to return the MOC because for this one, for this third car, I'm not going to show it, but for this third car, I actually had to go get my MOC again, and then the glitch worked perfectly fine. So test that out, but other than that, it's a super easy glitch. And uh, yeah, so that's going to be it for me, guys. My name's Roll Easy. Hope you enjoyed the video and learned something. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're brand new, turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. As always, we are on the road to 25,000 subscribers. Peace out, y'all, and have a great day.